everyone welcome back to my channel flutter coding 101 so in this video today i am going to show you how you can use lottie files lottie animations in your app now you can use lottie animations anywhere in your app be it your login screen or your sign up screen or maybe your dashboard in your splash screen uh, so splash screen is basically the first screen which uh, opens up when you open your app or it could be your onboarding screens anywhere you want. Uh, they make your app more interactive and the JSON is more uh, like it adds an animation to your application which makes it more user friendly and aesthetically pleasing. So um, let's quickly get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to use the Lottie package. So here you can see I have used the Lottie package. After you have got this pass package, you have to add it in your pubspec.yml file. You can either add it from your command prompt, uh, from your command line, or you can add it directly from your pubspec.yml file and then uh, save the file and run fl flutter pub get. Once you have added this file, so as you can see here, I have added my Lottie file over here and then you have to run control S and flutter pub get. So after you have added this file, you need to go to Lottie files. You have to create an account over here, lottiefiles.com. And then you can search for any kind of animation. Let's say if I go for cricket, right? So it will show you a list of existing animations that is existing Lottie files. And then for example, I want this one, right? So there are two ways in which you can use a Lottie file. One is you can uh, download the asset and um, you can use it as um, Lottie dot asset. Otherwise, the second is you can directly uh, take the Lottie animation from the network. So over here uh, for this animation, here you can see there is a download option. When I click on this app animation, right? So this opens the animation. Now, uh, there is also you can change the color palette of this animation, right? So you can use, uh, you can switch between different color palettes, whichever you like. You can uh, put in a new color palette if you want. Uh, I'm going to stick with say this one and then save the animation. Maybe save as a new animation, like you can rename it rolling ball and save it as a new animation under your drafts so now once i have saved this you can either download it over here i'll go to lottie json and i'll download my file so it will download my json this you need to store in an in your assets folder in your project directory otherwise what you can do is you can copy the link so over here, uh, the link format would be Lottie JSON. And once you have copied this link, you just need to go to your application and your main file where you need to show the animation. So over here, I've used Lottie.network and I've specified the URL which I need. So I'll change this URL now, right? And reload it. This is my emulator. And you can see it shows the animation. Likewise, you can play with different animations. So I have used a few animations over here. I'll just show you. So you can just use it in case there's a successful transaction that has happened. Or maybe if it, you have made a car booking or a travel related application, then the start screen could be something like this, you know. So this is an animation which I in which I redid the colors of the animation and I made a new one. So you can use any animation that you like. So the next thing is, uh, how do you use an uh, animation which you store in your own directory, in your assets folder, right? So over here in my assets, I'll show you. In my assets folder, inside images, I have saved bag.json, okay? So here, I'll just... All right, so you can specify the height and the width of your asset that you will be using. You can use a, a fit like it could be box fit dot fill or, or cover the way you want to show the animation. Frame rate is basically frames per second. So this could be you could specify the maximum frame rate or the composition with which it comes or you can specify, a, you know, a custom frame rate. So the maximum is 120. Let's just uh, specify a custom frame rate. Now over here, you can also uh, create um, 
animation controller which will start or stop your animation so over here i have declared a uh, animation controller and inside in its state i'm initializing this controller and i'm specifying the duration of it as five seconds also when you make an animation controller you need to make sure that you dispose it off as well so for which i have used this dispose method after having done this i have made two buttons one is a play button and one is a pause button so when I, whenever i press on the play button the animation will start playing and whenever i press on the pause button the animation will pause so using the controller i have stopped the animation here using the controller i am playing the animation so instead of forward you could also play the animation in reverse so there is this reverse so this will play the animation in reverse okay play the animation and i pause it so it will be paused now when i Again, I play the animation and I love it. So that's it. That's how you use lot of files in your application. I hope you liked my video. Please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much.